Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna do a follow-up video on Mulan. No, not the not the good one. Yeah, well, yeah. it wasn't that bad, but it was the the reanimated. It's better. Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about Disney's live-action remake of Mulan and a lot of the controversy that's uh, going on with this movie in regards to politics in regards to how it has performed and even Rotten Tomatoes. There's a lot of a lot of weirdness going on with this movie. Oh, it's Disney. It's Disney, so it's another day at Disney, right? That's right. Uh, before we get into it, please give us a sub if you haven't done so already and check us out at clownfishtv.com where you can sign up for browser notifications if YouTube uh, pulls some shenanigans, you can, uh, you can get notified of our new videos. Yes. All right, guys, so we're going to talk first about, um, well, I think we'll talk about the money first, and then we'll get into the heavier stuff, because there's some some real major controversy going on yeah. here with this movie. And there, there has been pretty much since day one. I mean, to be honest, I remember when they first announced it, they were like, oh, the architecture is not right. And then it was, oh, the star is against Hong Kong, and now it gets worse. Uh, now they're talking like concentration camps, and it's, yeah. Great Disney. Yeah. What did I, uh, what did you step into? Exactly. What did you step into, Disney? Uh, first, we're going to talk about the money. Okay. It nabbed six million dollars overseas, but Bill and Ted is still ruling VOD. So we don't That's know. Interesting. That is, we don't know how much money uh, Mulan is making. I think a lot of people, since they pretty much said they're they're bringing it out in what uh, November for free. I think it's Disney December. Plus? December? December 4th. So a lot of people were waiting on that. But Disney's not going to put the numbers out there, I don't think, publicly. Um, they don't have to. It's it's their own service. Right. Yeah. So we don't really know. I mean, I don't think we really know how much they're doing, do we? Well, the the word on the street is, and you were talking about this morning, that it has underperformed yeah. on PVOD. People did not want to pay $30 mm -mm. Uh, to see a half-assed remake of another Disney animated movie. So this is supposed to be the one that was, that was going to save them. Because that's, right. that's what they talked about in their their uh, third quarter earnings call. It was just it was going to be all Mulan. Mulan was well, going to save the day. In the pixie duster circles, they are all going raving about how it's the best movie ever and it's the best live action remake they've done so far. And I mean, they they're going on and on. You're not allowed to not like Mulan. Um, that's one thing I noticed. I still love the the defense. It seems to be uh, well, people are mad because it's not the like the animated version. People are mad about Mushu. Well, their defense is well, this is a more realistic version of Mulan. Well, one, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the realistic version of Milan, like that's the ballad of Milan. It's not the same thing. Two, I'm not sure how much more realistic it is when you have magic fighting chi powers, a witch who can turn into a hawk with her magic powers, and a phoenix that basically does, uh, you know, follows around, leads her places like kind of Mushu did. Yeah, there were a lot of, I actually think the cartoon in some ways was more believable, especially when it came to characterization. Yeah. Uh, Mulan was a much more believable character in the cartoon than she was uh, in this version. But um, yeah, I've heard different things uh, out on Twitter. I've heard that Chinese audiences aren't really into it because... Uh, one, they had a much better Mulan movie 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And two, they're having a real problem with the uh, the Disney princess girl power, super powered, uh, like, chi powered. Like Elsa. If yeah. She, yeah. If Elsa was Mulan, you know? Pretty much. They even gave her a sister mm -hmm. and, and all of that. But yeah, they're saying it's not performing that well on uh, PVOD. It got buried in this article about Tenet. Uh, Tenet did 20 million plus over Labor Day weekend. Pretty good considering a lot of theaters are still yeah. closed down. That's actually that's actually pretty good. But buried in here, buried in here, Disney hasn't reported Mulan Disney Plus revenue figures, and I imagine they won't until an earnings call. Together with the Pix Overseas box office, um, they said that they're not they're not uh, reporting it. But here, rival industry sources with knowledge of PVOD are figuring out that Disney may not have earned great presales on Disney Plus for Mulan, where the pick was available for twenty nine ninety nine. The studio quickly announced it would be free in early December on the service. Yeah, they announced that before it came out. I want to clarify that. They did announce that this was this was slipped up. It was in one of the write-ups. It was out before Mulan came out that they did that, which might be affecting the pre-sales. So I want to make sure that we get that be fair. Yeah, because it, it could be a chicken or egg. It could be like, well, the pre-sales weren't tracking very well. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I mean, why wouldn't you wait? I mean, we spent the money cause we're like, well, we'll make it back on the video talking about mm -hmm. it. 
But if we weren't doing a video about it, doing a review, I would have been just like, wait until December. Well, that's way too months. Yeah. You know, and I think most people, especially with the economy being the way it is for a lot of people right now, people being out of work, why would you pay an extra 30 but bucks? But they did announce that it was probably, what well, was leaked that it was going to be out December 4th, I believe, before the actual movie went on sale. Yeah. So that is absolutely going to affect. Uh, whether or not people buy it. So right. oopsie doopsie. Yeah. Oopsie doopsie Disney. This did not turn out to be the uh, the hit you thought it was going to be. In fact, I think Bill and Ted is doing better. That, yeah, that's funny. That is crazy. Now, we've been kind of watching the Rotten Tomatoes. And uh, now I've again, I've heard that Chinese audiences didn't. I didn't I didn't review that. Oh, OK. Um, Chinese audiences aren't really uh, feeling it from what I understand. But we noticed this on the very first day. Mm-hmm. Some of the reviews, the five-star reviews, fit the, uh, I guess I'll call it the... Um, the beep bop boops. The beep bop boops, the Carol Danvers maneuver. The Carol Danvers maneuver. Where they're all like no avatar, they all give glowing generic reviews, and they're all within minutes or seconds of each other. And I would see them interspersed with all the like legit reviews, you would get four or five of them in a row. Like every actor did a great job, especially as it uh, Lou Yifei. I don't know how to pronounce her name. She's really good. When I saw Mulan hugging her father, I cried. Beep boop bop. This movie is suitable for the whole family to watch. Is a movie that women have to watch. Excuse me. I don't have to do anything. Thank Beep you. Beep boop bop. Wonderful movie. Visually stunning to the max. The girl became a soldier. The soldier became a leader. The leader became a legend by this movie. Yeah, there's a lot of those if you go look. Yeah, and they're all, like I said, it's it's we saw this with Captain Marvel, especially, where they all come in waves. And it's whenever Disney's like, or whoever the PR firm is, it's like they're trying to pull that out of a tailspin. I can tell you 100% certainty that they do. They most definitely, you know, have things in place to to affect the ratings. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. So that is what's going on financially and on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it, the audience scores crept up. I debate whether, you know, I, I don't know. Well, these actually look a little, a little more le legitimate-ish. Legitimate-ish. But, um, you know, the, the reviews have actually gone down. Now, here's where it gets ugly, um, because it's in the middle of another political controversy. Yes, now it, get, now it gets deeper. Now we're going to dig a little deeper. I guess that's the wrong, that's the wrong movie. Yeah, that's um, movie. They'll, they'll make a live action remake of that, too. You know they will. So Mulan criticized for crediting Chinese bureau tied to Muslim concentration camps coming from the rap, coming from the Guardian... Uh, coming from BBC, coming from Bounding in the Comics, <laughs> yeah. coming from from all of these news outlets. Uh, I know you had me check it to be like, is this is this legit? I have to make this... sure we had the facts straight. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Disney uh, credits for a new Disney film thanks several Chinese organizations uh, linked to the I think it's Uyghur Uyghur repression. I had to look these up because I can't pronounce half of this. Uh, it said Mulan is facing scrutiny after its credits thank the Turpan M Municipal Bureau of Public Security, a bureau that has helped China's communist government imprison Muslims in concentration camps. Way to go, Disney. Yeah. Way to go. Uh, Axios reporter Bethany Allen uh, Abramian tweeted on Monday that the movie shout out was truly outrageous. But not in the gem way. Definitely not in the gem way. Considering the Bureau has been deeply involved in running camps in, let me see if I can get this right, Xing, Xinjiang, Xinjiang, a region in northwest China. The region is best known in recent years for being at the heart of China's attacks against the Uyghurs, uh, a Turkic-speaking ethnic minority who mostly practice Islam. At least 100 million of them are held in state-run concentration camps, according to PBS. Now, actually, it's interesting. Our daughter's one friend is a Muslim, and she has mentioned this to her before about these these ca these camps. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, I mean, this this is uh, apparently a thing. Uh, it's a horrible thing. Disney did not immediately respond to the rap's request for comment on why Mulan's credits thank the Bureau. Well, we know why. Money. It's green. It's green. <laughs> Mickey likes his Chinese cheddar. Why do we have, you know, chi powers and not, you know, and why do we have a, a phoenix and not a, a singing, talking, joke-cracking dragon? Who just happens to be voiced by a black man. Yeah. I just put that out there. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's another interesting there point there, Disney. Anyway... Anyway, um, this is, yeah, okay, she said, this is truly outrageous, the new live-action Mulan. Thanks, the Security Bureau 
uh, in the credits. That specific, uh, that specific public security bureau has been deeply involved in concentration camps. Um, a Monday morning, the Washington Post ran an op-ed piece calling the film's credits a scandal. Wow. Scandal. Mulan is a scandal. Wow. Um... This is this is beyond the whole. People were boycotting it over the Hong Kong comments. People, yeah, stuff, people so. were boycotting it because the actress supported uh, supported the the CCP and not not uh, Hong Kong. She was against protesters, so there were a, a lot of. There was a lot working against this one. There's a lot working against this one, right? Um, yeah, I mean this this is this is some really nasty, awful, horrible things uh, going on here. But this is not the family oh, friendly wow. did you see that one the paragraph above that you just kind of went down below? i i did uh, at the same time the chinese government has been accused of running a mass i'm not gonna say that word. you can read it program against, against the women the women by forcing oh my god uh of course this is they said that's a this is i'm i'm gonna say a, a they've been accused they've been accused uh security forces in turpan a city in or Turpan, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm horrible at this. A city in eastern uh, Xinjiang have played a key role in the state's systematic oppression of Muslims, uh, explained the writer. So this is all over the place. This is all over the place. Yeah, this isn't like this one place reporting it. Like, it is everywhere. So how are the pixie dusters going to explain this? I don't know, but I'm sure they um, already are. I mean, it is literally everywhere that, that this is... Uh, I mean, this is like, God, I, I can't even, I mean, this is horrible. I mean, beyond the fact that the movie, it, I mean, live action is Disney. Stop with the damn live action films. I mean, you're going to do flip and do Bambi? I mean, really? Do you need to do these? I mean, do you really need to do Bambi and a Hercules? Just, just stop. Stop. Cut your losses. Stop. No one wants this crap. Just stop. So go ahead and make new things. Like, I mean, hey, the Jungle Cruise is based on a ride, but at least it's going to be something new. I mean, there's things you can, there's all kinds of stories out there you can tell. You don't need to keep repurposing all your things you already done. So number one, stop that. Um, number two, stop pandering. Stop pandering to whatever you're pandering to and just tell good stories with good characters again and people will like it. Stop sucking up to the CCP. That's Disney. right. That's, I mean, God, this is, maybe this is the lesson they're going to have to, you know, learn, like, they're, this is one of the, the worst uh, black eyes I think Disney's ever gotten. Mm hmm. Oh, um, those shoes. They're so sparkly. Sorry. I was. Very... <laughs> what? <laughs> I just saw them and I was like, oh, I want those. Sorry. It was. I was distracted. Oh, my God. It was shiny. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people have been very critical of Disney uh, kowtowing to the CCP, mm -hmm. you know, to, to China. And this movie, let's face it, was designed. Well, it's a, China. China. it's a Chinese story. I mean, right, I can get, right. I can get wanting their input. I can get trying to make it more like what they wanted and everything. I get that. I totally get that. But taking the steps, some of the steps that were taken were probably not a really good idea. And, yeah. and and for a company that goes on about you know family and how they're pushing about how equality is important and they're pushing all this diversity and inclusion and all this stuff, it's very surprising that they would be completely okay with that and giving it a shout out, no less. Yeah, it was like I, I, that's that's the that's the thing. I guess they said they tried to hide it. They were calling it like a Northwest China or Northeast China. Yeah, they were trying to or like something. Yeah. Um, but people were like, "What the actual hell uh, are you doing? What are you doing?" And there's several people uh, called it out. This is let's see. This is uh, Jeanette Ng, who is a Hugo Award-winning author. She said that they specifically thank the publicity department, the CPC, uh, Xinjiang, uh, Uyghur, is it Uyghur? I think it's Uyghur, Autonomous Region Committee and the credits, you know, the place where the cultural genocide is happening. They filmed extensively in Xinjiang, which the subtitles called Northwest China. So a lot of people calling it out like what the actual F. I don't know. It just goes on and on. I, yeah, so. I, I don't even... I, 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 I don't know. And then, you know, we can, you know, talk about the actress who supported the Hong Kong police. You know, uh, she was against the protesters. I mean, it's been ever it's like, since. What is Disney doing? They're not answering. Well, here's the thing. I mean, they would, they had this movie. They were doing it last year and stuff. But before the, the um, you know, the, the world turned upside down, and they lost all their money and that they had to be humbled. Uh, this is all done before that. But probably figured they'd get away with anything because they're Disney 
and yeah. that'd be, that'd be just print money at this point. Uh, we don't, we're not joking when you basically go into the parks and they open your wallet with a vacuum cleaner and say, thank you. And, you know, yeah. so they just figured yeah. that the, the gravy train was going to keep on a rolling. And then, you know, no one you know, foresaw this happening. And this actually, you know, took them, took them down somewhat. And I, I don't think they, you know, they just figured they could brush under the rug and they had, well, our lawyers can handle it. It's all good. Uh, yeah. Well, they're running out of money. Um, but this doesn't help. This is not going to help. Here, I can't wait to see their explanation to the uh, during the earnings call to the shareholders. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be an explanation. We're going to get next time. Well, gosh, we didn't know. We didn't know. I mean, look, they've been called out for years on you know pandering to to China's government. You know, and uh, South Park. I mean, they called it out too. They're like, why? Yes, Disney specifically. Disney specifically. Like you got, and they were even going out of their way to try to cultivate a Star Wars audience over there. Yeah, they were going to the place. They were going to take all the books and translate them, and then make new books that were just made for Chinese markets that were uh, Star Wars. I don't know if they ever did. They were talking about it. They were. I know. I think they translated them. I don't know if they made the new books, but they were talking about doing new, new books just for the Chinese audiences to try to get them in there. Yeah, this is God. I, I. I don't know. Um, I I just can't believe that nobody just you know pulled pulled them a pulled them aside and said, "Hey, do you, do you really want to film this?" I movie? believe I have no doubt someone did probably tell them, and they said, and that's why they hit it as calling it that. If they thought there was nothing wrong with it, <laughs> right? Why would they Why would they refer to it as Northwest China? Hmm. Now, I mean, I'm waiting to hear their response, and we'll listen to what they have to say when they offer one. We'll take a look at it and see, you know, what their excuse is for it. Uh, maybe they do have a good reason. I doubt it, but who knows? You know, um, Phoenix says can fly. Magic Chi is a thing, so we'll, they might have an explanation. I, I don't know. It's this is, this is just a, a waste. I mean, this whole movie is just. A but waste. I wanted it to be good. Like, I really wanted it to be good. I don't. Know. I did. All right, I, I had some some off color jokes. I'm not going to make those, uh, given the. Um, Don't given, make them. No. Yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, so I'm I'm out of funny at this point. I think I think just wrap this one up. Yep. All right. So uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll keep you posted if Disney actually says something. I don't expect them to. I don't expect them to. They'll just uh, deflect and they'll just give more money to another cause or something and be like, oh, look, we're, we're good people. Honest. Look over there. Over there. Like look those shiny shoes. Me. Don't look at the Milan story. Shiny shoes. Shiny, don't look you at the You know Kiki's going to be reading this. Shiny shoes. Shiny shoes. All right, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.